Welcome to the West Virginia Student Aid Management tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to create a West Virginia SAM account. You'll use this account to apply for state financial aid programs. First, we're going to access the link on the College for West Virginia website. We're on the landing page and you can see on the top menu, you can click log in to WVSAM. Down here on the screen, there's a button that will take you directly to the login page for the SAM account. If you don't have an account, you're going to start by creating an account. We ask that only the student creates an account, um, and you also want to use an email address that you will have long term access to. If you are in high school, we do not recommend that you use your high school email as you will not have access to it after you graduate. If you already have an account, you're going to want to go back to the login page and use the forgot password. Otherwise, it's not going to allow you to proceed or to create a duplicate account. So we're going to create a new account. And this one isn't real. Just for tutorial purposes. You're going to enter your name information. If you have a previous legal last name, we only need that if you've applied previously and you've had a name change or you've attended college under a different name previously. You have to enter your birth date and your social security number. It is important your social security number and your name is correct and um, what shows up on your social security card. We do verify that information for our state financial aid programs with the FAFSA and so that information has to link up in most cases for you to proceed. It's going to ask you your street address. If you have a different mailing address, you can include that here. And then also a phone number that we can contact you at. If it is the mobile phone number, you can provide that here. You do have the option to receive text messages. Um, down here under contact preference, if you select email only, we'll send your notifications regarding state financial aid to your email. If you select text message and email, we'll send it um, both through a text message and to the email address provided. Last, if you want to grant permission to others to discuss your account, including a parent or guardian, they do have to be included here. Um, you have to give us their name, the relationship to you, their phone number, and their email address. Um, so if they do call in or they email in, we can discuss things that are pertinent to your account with them. From there, you're going to click next and it is going to create your account. I'm not going to do that to create the fake account, but um, once you create the account, you are going to get an email that looks like this. Welcome to WVSAM. Um, and it'll tell you you have created your account and you'll want to click on this link, verify your email and set up your password. That is going to take you back to the login page so you can set up your password. I've already done that for this account, so it's not going to allow me. Um, from there, you will use that username, which is your email address and the newly created password, and you'll log in so you can access your same account. 